beauty from around the world. In this episode, I share with you a few popular Thai beauty products in Hong Kong. Welcome back to another beauty from around the world and today I want to share with you guys a couple of products from Thailand. Now to buy these Thai products, you don't technically go to just a regular salsa or a department store to pick them up. I went to a shopping center where they were selling these Thai products kind of all over in different stores. It's really interesting because you would walk into a shop, some of these cubbies would have similar products or different products, but each cubby is actually owned by a different owner. Apparently, some of these Thai products are very well sought after. So I did pick up a couple of Thai products and I'm really excited about sharing them with you guys. So this first one is called Kiss Skin Care and it is a whitening collagen cream mask. I usually think of a mask as something that you would leave on for about 20 minutes and then you would wash off. But in Asia, it's pretty normal to have something called like a sleeping pack where you would leave the mask on overnight and you would do it maybe once or twice a week. It goes on clear so it doesn't really feel like a mask. It's more like a moisturizing cream. It says that you're supposed to only use it two times a week. It's a really great product if you can get a hold of it. And your skin feels very bouncy after you use it. Of course, it says it's a white in collagen so I'm not surprised that the bounciness factor is in there. But so this next product it's called Ellie Mineral White Mask and it comes in a pretty big box. The product comes in a small tub so it's just all packaging here. It's really cute though. I've heard that this is a really great mask if you want that brighter complexion and it doesn't really have a scent to it. I mean, if anything, it has a very subtle salicylic acid scent. And it's one of those masks where there's a lot of dupes and fakes out there. And so it does come with an ID code. In Hong Kong, you will run into a lot of fake cosmetics. So you have to be careful when you buy them. So this next brand is called Pastel, and I bought two different products from them. This one is called Cherry Tender and it has a little bit of salicylic acid in it. This is supposed to help with the freckles that's on your face, acne scarring, and of course, acne and it's so cute. It comes in a small little box like this and it's actually a tiny little tub like this as well. I'm kind of bummed because it looks like half the product is gone even though this is a brand new tub. But it smells really nice and I do enjoy that it is pink. That's kind of cute. I'm gonna try this and we all know how much I love Terminator 10 so hopefully this will be that one product that might beat Terminator 10. So this purple one is interesting. I picked it up just because, I don't know, I just wanted to show you guys. I've noticed that there is a a lot of products that helps lighten not only your underarm but also your buttocks as well. I guess if you're wearing a bikini like it can look a little dark around that area especially if you have a darker skin complexion. When it comes to Thai products I do notice that there are a lot of creams that do target darkness around the lady area. I'm mostly going to use it like on my underarm, my elbows and especially my knees because it's a lot darker than the rest of my legs so maybe this will help target that. So living in Hong Kong has made me more aware about exfoliating my whole body and not just my face and so I decided to pick up two soaps which both are made from Thailand. This first one is really interesting because not only is it in such a really pretty pale color but this one has a loofah built into it so you can lather yourself up and also scrub yourself down with it which I think it's really cool. This is a sakura flower glycerin soap. I love pretty looking soaps like this and I think it's really cool when there's a loofah built in so it's basically a twofer. I feel like there's a lot of whitening products in the Thai skincare line and of course I picked up a Thai whitening soap. This is called the Cleopatra White Soap and the scent itself is very subtle. I don't know why but it just looks more like the soap is made of clay to me. But and lastly I want to share with you guys a really amazing hair product. This is a sun and silk perfect straight hair mask. It's an intensive treatment mask and I am obsessed with it. Sun Silk is actually a brand I am very familiar with. I remember when I visited my grandma back in Vietnam. In her shower she had Sun Silk shampoo and conditioner. When we came to the States my mom would try to look for Sun Silk. She really missed Sun Silk and she said that it's one of those rare shampoo and conditioners that gave her hair so much shine and just so much health. It smells like any other conditioner to me. It's super thick. I mean it doesn't even 
even come out of the tub and it's just amazing such a great product if you go to an Asian market in the US and if you can run into any sun silk care products really look into it so those are my Thai beauty products haul I hope you guys enjoyed me sharing these products with you guys by the way if you guys have seen any of these products before or if you have used them before just leave a comment down below it's kind of cool to know what you guys have experienced in the past as far as beauty from around the world thank you guys so much for watching this video remember to like share and subscribe to this channel I will talk to you guys later remember to rock on slow beats bye